Lesson 3-4, Linear Programming. Rather than teach you the old-fashioned way, so we just jump right in and do a problem. Uh, a vet has two different tasks that she can perform. She can do a 20-minute office visit or she can do a 40-minute surgery. Uh, she can only work for seven hours a day, uh, which 7 times 60 is 420 minutes. And she can also perform up to six surgeries per day by law or whatever. So now we need to know the inequalities and know the number of office visits. Well, in all the linear programming, we're generally assuming it's going to be zero or more. But in this case, she's got 420 minutes and it takes 20 minutes. So it has to be less than or equal to 21 also. Think about that for a second. Number of surgeries. Think about it. See if you can do it pausing the tape. It has to be greater than or equal to zero. And I don't have to do the math here. It says that she only can do six surgeries per day. So we're setting up a system of inequalities. Now, what are the number of office visits and surgeries you can do in one day? Well, we know that it takes 20 minutes for an office visit, 40 minutes for surgery. Office visits are X, surgeries are Y. So we get to 20x plus 40y to fill up her whole day, or be less than that. Looking at this, I realize I can divide all these by 20. And I get x plus 2y has to be less than or equal to 21. So here's my system. x is greater than or equal to 0. X is less than or equal to 21. Y is greater than or equal to 0. Y is less than or equal to 6. X plus 2Y less than or equal to 21. Y is less than or equal to negative 1 half X plus 10 and a half. When you graph these, you're generally going to be working in the top right quadrant. So x is greater than 0, that's everything over here. y is greater than 0 is everything over here. x is less than 21 is way out here on the graph somewhere. So I'm going to go by 2s, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. So we'll put a dotted line right here. Actually, we'll make it solid line. And we're looking over here. So two, four, six, two, four, six. And then y is less than or equal to negative one half. Oh wait, y is less than or equal to six. So looking down here, already we're in this whole box right here. But we can do a little better. Negative one half x plus ten and a half, two, four, six, six, eight, ten, twelve. One half to be right about here, one down, two over, puts us about here, one down, two over, puts us right about there. And I'd like to know where it's going to hit here so I can graph it properly. Uh, when y equals zero, x will be equal to 21, I believe, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. That's where I graphed it. So looking at this area here, like before, let's start identifying the points because we're going to need them all. This one here is 0, 6. This one here, I have to go figure out at the intersection of y equals 6. So 
So we'll double everything. Find that x equals nine. So nine comma six. And right here is twenty one comma zero. This is a lot of information to keep straight. So pay close attention to what you're doing. I am limited here in that you can't see the whole sheet of paper at once, but we'll see what we can do. So here's our points. Let's make sure we got it right. Office visits are X. Surgeries are Y. We have points zero, zero. Zero six, nine six, and twenty one zero. Now, you may not have realized, but that's how we do linear programming. We always check every single point at that on the corners. We never check a point in the middle. The corner points are always going to be where the solution lies. Always. Think about it, you can probably figure out why, but that's up to you. So this is what we call our either cost function, revenue function. For now, I'm just going to call it the optimizing function. It's 55 times x plus 125 times y. So we check them all. If we have zero comma zero, we get zero. Well, we don't want to make zero dollars, so cross that one off the list. If we have zero comma six, we would make six times 125, which is $750. Not bad. If we have nine comma six, We would make $1,245, which is more than this one, so we can get rid of that. And if we had 21 office visits, we would make 55 times 21, and that equals 1,155. So the optimum amount would be. Nine office visits, and six surgeries. They would max out on their income, which is what a business exists for, to make as much money as possible. So there you have it. That's linear programming. Now, just did a fairly straightforward problem that wasn't too much complexity. The real problems can get incredibly complex and involve multiple variables. For us, we'll keep it in two variables. But the classic is at a factory that makes two different things that use raw materials. You want to make more widgets or do you want to make more gadgets? That sort of thing. Here's what it looks like without the word problem, just the algebra. So I can give you a problem like this and say, you know, find the maximum and minimum points. And again, we're dealing almost exclusively in the upper quadrant. We have x is greater than 1. y is greater than 0. So we come here. x is greater than 1. Grab this one. Y, graph this one. Less than or equal to negative 2x plus 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 down 2 over 1, so I know that point right now, I might just write it in so I don't forget, it's 1 comma 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 4, let me check make sure it works, negative 2 times 1, yeah that works, and down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1, I also know that point, which is kind of nice, Oof, not what I would call a straight line, there we go, 
and we're in here. This point is in comma zero. This point is three comma zero. There's our points. Let's see which one maximizes and which one minimizes. We might have a system where we say let's minimize the cost, in which case we're looking for that point. You never know. So here's our points. Let's try them all. F of one zero is three. F of one four is seven. F of three zero is nine. So this is the minimum point. No other point we try anywhere inside of this whole shaded area is going to give us a smaller value than that, and no other point is going to give us a bigger value than this. That's the algebra. So another word problem for you. Try it on your own. Very challenging stuff. What I would do first is label these, make uh, mowing lawns Y, and pruning X. I think that'll save you some aggravation later. I'm going to do the problem now. If you want to pause, that would be kind. So we've got uh, X has to be greater than or equal to zero. And it says here they can only do two a day, so X has to be less than or equal to two. Um, Y has to be greater than or equal to zero, and if they work for nine hours, then Y has got to be less than or equal to nine, because they can do an hour a job. Together, it takes one hour to mow lawns, so that's uh, one Y, and it takes three hours to prune shrubs, so that's three X. So these have to be less than or equal to nine. Y has to be less than or equal to negative three X plus nine. So there's my system of equations. Notice I didn't bother with the price function. That'll just confuse me. I'll do that one later. Greater than zero. Less than nine. Greater than zero, less than two. So we've already shaved it down. Negative three x plus nine. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, one. Our point looks like it's going to be two comma three. This point. Two comma zero. This point zero comma nine. This is the area we're looking at. I want to maximize income, so I don't really care about the minimums. Oops, I forgot. I need to write my function. Uh oh, I forgot my X's and one Y's, and they're up top. X is the mowing lawns, no, pruning shrubs. So they get 120 for pruning plus 40 for lawn mowing. So let's try all three points. F of 0, 0,9 equals 120 times 0 plus 40 times 9 is 360. F of 2 comma 3 is 120 times 2 plus 40 times 3 equals also 360. And F of 2 comma 0 equals 120 times 2 plus 40 times 0 equals 240. So these are our two answers. You can either do two prunings. In three lawns or nine lawns.
That's linear programming. If you're totally lost now, don't worry about it. It gets better. A lot of the steps become intuitive as you do them, but it is. It's a challenging subject. Good luck.